it's been overwhelming, it's blown me away. So the least that I could do is try and learn Chinese. No, I've never been to China and I really want to go. Or you could maybe give yes. a go at singing one of Zhou Shen's songs in Chinese. So I'm thinking of one called Da Yu. Yeah. 大家好,我是英国杰克 So I'm delighted to have with me again on the show Katie Sky, who is the incredible singer, songwriter from the UK and you may remember in the last video is the original singer and writer of the incredible song Monsters which Zhou Shun performed on Ge Shou I see your monster I see your pen So thank you so much for coming back to the channel today Katie No worries So yeah, just to ask you again Wow, what did you think to Joe Shun singing your song, Monsters? I mean, it was amazing. His performance was amazing and his voice is incredible and angelic, as we said earlier, for sure. Incredible. Awesome. Now, as you know, Joe Shun is from China. So I'm just really curious. I mean, have you ever been to China? Is it a country that interests you? I mean, what do you know of it? No, I've never been to China and I really want to go. I'd love to come visit at some point. And I know this may sound weird to say, but when I go to museums, like I do go straight for the for the China section and um, it's just got such a, a long and beautiful history and their, their ceramics and their detailed patterns and the fashion and the style over there, all things that completely fascinate me. So yeah, I, I really want to come visit. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, I lived there for seven years and I can speak the language and the history is incredible. Uh, and so, mm. like you say, whenever you go to a museum, you're always interested to look at the China section. But, but as you say, you've not been, so maybe there's opportunity for you to go in the future. I mean, I'm trying, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying, especially now Monsters has done so well over there. I would really, really love to go over for some shows at some point. Um, I've got a couple of contacts that I'm talking to at the moment about potentially uh, going over there and doing some gigs, doing some concerts, uh, like end of next year. But yeah, if anyone's watching this and you'd like to book me, get in touch. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. I'm sure the people that are watching would be thrilled to have you over in China to see you perform. And if you are, maybe leave I'd a comment it. for a suggestion for Katie because their music industry over there is really thriving. And as Joe Shun kind of yeah. demonstrates, they're really keen to sing songs, not only in Chinese, but connect with different languages and cultures. So I, I think, yeah. wow, what a beautiful opportunity when coronavirus finishes. Mm. Let's get Katie Sky out to yeah. China and let's get her some concerts booked because I know you're going to be a massive success with your amazing songwriting oh, skills. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Jack. Thank so, you. <laughs> so that kind of leads us on to our next topic, which is, have you ever sung in Chinese? I have never sung in Chinese. I don't think I know many words in Chinese at all. And I think with your help, Jack, I would love to try and learn maybe even just a chorus of monsters in Chinese and be able to put up a video and sing it to you guys just to say thank you so much for all all your support with this song. It's, it's been overwhelming. It's blown me away. So the least that I could do is try and learn Chinese just for the chorus of monsters and then sing it back. That would be amazing. I would love to yeah, do that. Yeah, sure. I think that would be absolutely wicked. We can get monsters translated back into Chinese for you and you could give it a sing. Or you could maybe give yes. a go at singing one of Zhou Shen's song in Chinese. So I'm thinking of one called Da Yu. Yeah. Which I think would really suit your beautiful voice. Um, and Thank yeah, you. that would just be great. Yeah, I'm up for both. I'm up for either. I'm up okay. for all of it. <laughs> so if you're excited to see Katie singing Mandarin, let her know. So Katie, that makes me think of the famous, incredible British pop star called Jessie J, who is also on the same show, yeah. Ge Shou, but in a different season to the monster song that Joel Shun performed. And she actually went on to do really well on the show and won it. So there's definitely scope for people such as yourself, incredible female British artists to go over to China. Yeah, I saw that actually. She did an incredible job. Yeah, 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 totally. So, Katie, I'm really excited to hear what does the future lie in store for yourself? Do you have any upcoming plans? Yeah, I do. Uh, lots of new music coming up. I've got a new original single, Kate Sky single, coming out at the start of November. It's actually a duet with a guy. I will say no more. I should keep my mouth shut. Um, but yeah, that's coming out at the start of November. I've got two features coming out at the start of November as well. 
because uh, I write a lot for, for other people, especially DJs that need uh, kind of singers like myself on tracks. And I've got a lot of new music ready and waiting uh, to come out at the start of next year as well. So, yeah, lots in the pipeline and then just constantly writing all the time. So, yeah, lots, lots to come. <laughs> Fabulous. That's absolutely excellent. Well, I know I speak for everyone watching. We're really excited to hear that new content from yourself, whether it's your Thank new you. single that's coming out in November or the new features that you talked about. We'll certainly be keeping an eye on your Twitter and your YouTube so that we yeah. can make sure that we watch those new songs as they do come out. So, Katie, I've asked you before, you've not been to China, but you're hoping to go in the future, but you must have tried some Chinese food. Oh, Chinese food is lovely. Yeah, I've had uh, duck pancakes. I've had well, the Szechuan, but it's, it's quite spicy for me, but I do like it. And then I've had hot pot a few times as well. So tasty. So tasty. Yeah. So I think everyone's a big fan of Chinese food in the UK, right? You can't go anywhere in the world and, and not love Chinese food. Absolutely. It's, yeah, it's so, yeah, it's so varied and all the meats, basically, <laughs> which is great for me. <laughs> awesome. So when we get you over to China, you can certainly try even more food. So look Absolutely. forward to that. Absolutely. I'm up for trying anything. So guys, I just want to thank Katie once again for coming on the channel today and making these really awesome videos. And just a reminder to everyone that's watching, if you're not already, you can follow Katie on Twitter and on YouTube and on Instagram. And I'll mm -hmm. put those on the screen now. And Katie, was there anything else that you wanted to add? I think I've just got one more thing to say. Okay. Subscribe to British Jack. <laughs> that, hey. hey! That is absolutely <laughs> awesome. All right. <laughs> Subscribe to British Jack. That's great. All right. So we'll leave it there for today. Thanks again, Katie. And thank you for having me. Bye bye. Bye.